Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you my miniature travel SDR kit. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Really glad you could join me today. Uh, in a previous video, I showed you my software defined radio uh, USB dongle kit that uh, allows me to receive well, just about anything when I'm out on the go or if I want to take it with me anywhere. This is my version of its little brother. This is the kit that allows me to carry this basically at all times. This is what I carry in my laptop bag. And uh, what I found, well, actually first off, what it is, this is a um, diabetic auto injection travel case. This is what uh, diabetics can get to store their auto injector needles. So let's uh, take a look. Um, important to note on that is why I picked it. It's hard case. Uh, it's it's fabric, but it's got a, a hard backing inside, so works really good for what I need it for. This is my little travel kit. It's a, it's a pretty neat little kit. I'm pretty happy with it. This allows me to do pretty much whatever I want when I'm on the go. For those of you, if you haven't already seen them or know what the content is about, this is the center of attention for these kits. This is the uh, USB software defined radio dongle. Uh, good for a few megahertz rate right up to nearly two gigahertz so um, I like this Nolec unit uh, it's served me very well I have some new versions of it coming I really like this MCX style connector I don't know why but I just do so anyway there's the dongle we have the Stock antenna fits in here nicely. I'm going to give you a tip on this at the very end. I love these stock antennas. I really do. They extend out pretty long. They do unscrew from the base. They are a mag mount base. They are a, a magnetic base. And so they work just great. I love them. But there's one little drawback and I'll show you later. This is a rubber duck antenna from a, from a scanner and a, an adapter to go, actually I, I'm missing one portion actually, I need to go, this is the SMA and that should be to the MCX so I went ahead and put the wrong adapter in there. Anyway, in this compartment I keep an SD card with all the software and documentation. It's actually a micro SD inside an adapter. All the software and documentation I have for the software defined radio fits on this, no problem. Just as a backup. I already have it installed on the laptop. Let's say you wanted to run this off of someone else, off their laptop or off a different PC, no problem. And a set of headphones. I can, I can never find my darn headphones when I'm looking for them. But uh, that is my little tiny kit. You can see compared to the size of my hand, my pen, pretty small. Back to the tip on these stock antennas. Man, do I love these things. It, everybody knocks them, but it works sure surprisingly well. I have a, well. a picture or two of um, me cruising at, uh, well, I don't remember, 30 some odd thousand feet with the SDR plugged in. What happened was, uh, I think it was United Airlines wanted seven bucks just to get the moving map on the darn screen in the, in the seat in front of me. I didn't want to pay for TV. I wouldn't have minded looking at the moving map. It was seven bucks just to get that. So I simply plugged this in, plugged this in, stuck it in the seat back behind me, and I was getting the ADSB from the aircraft. So if I can find it, I'll throw a picture in here in the video. Anyway, last tip, if you're using these stock antennas, put some glue around the base of this antenna. 
these things. This just happened to me 20 minutes ago. Damn. The, there isn't even a speck of solder on there. There's nothing. So, uh, it, is, it is coax though. There is a center conductor and a shield. So, what I've got to do, I'll pop, I'll see if I can get this bottom cover off or cut it off or however I got to get in there and I can repair this one. But I have two more dongles coming and I really only need one of these stock antennas. I only use it in this travel kit when I'm on the move. And in all honesty, I could be using this instead. But uh, that is my little tiny travel kit that I use for the software to find radio. If you, uh, you can probably go to the pharmacy and pick up one of these uh, or something similar, but I really like this one that's designed to protect the injection needles uh, because it has quite a bit of rigidity in it. So uh, protects the dongle and the antenna and the electronics. Anyway, I really hope this helps someone. Uh, good luck in your software-defined radio ventures. Thanks for watching.